there has been a really a strange series of events that have revolved around ammo over the last four or five years. And I really wholeheartedly believe that the reason there's so much just strange things, we'll get into what's going on with ammo here in a second, but the reason that's going on is because even way before that, the government has tried to control guns. They've tried to control who can have them, what they can have. They definitely want to know what you have. Uh, most of the government wants a registry bad, and there's little efforts on trying to establish that, but most of those have been challenged in court because for the most part, our freedom to carry and hold guns and have guns have been upheld and our freedom to restrict what the government knows about our guns has been for the most part upheld. Now, um, we could talk about what the government knows about your guns in a whole other video. I don't believe and I don't really see a scenario where they would know what kind of guns I have and, and so on. Do they know I own guns? I'm sure they do. Do they know what kind of guns and how many? I don't believe they do. So what the government has done as they've chiseled away at our Second Amendment rights through guns is they realize, well, wait a second, the court isn't protecting ammo like they're protecting guns. Uh, that's a big deal because now what we're seeing is there is a control of ammo. And it's not just the government, it's the private sector getting in on it as well. Because the combination of ammo rules, and we'll talk about what those are here in a second, the combination of ammo rules and red flag laws that are, for the most part, local things. Uh, there's no red flag laws in Missouri, but they're every, they seem to be all over this country. And then you have power hungry sheriffs thrown in the mix. Here's the strange thing that's really taking place in ammo, and this is, you need to avoid doing this, first of all, because if you're doing this, you're being tracked. You are being tracked, uh, not just by your local government, but you're being tracked by the credit card companies, and then you're being tracked by your local sheriff. Well, what's all this mean? Well, if you're using your credit card to buy ammo right now, right now, and for the last three years, Visa, and MasterCard, and to some degree, depending on the bank from American Express, they're tracking your guns and ammo purchase, and they're red flagging you. If you make a purchase that for whatever reason, Visa thinks is weird, they're gonna red flag you, and then they're gonna send a report to your local sheriff. I can promise you, that your local sheriff right now has a giant stack of red flag alerts that have been sent to them from credit card companies. Well, the reason I know that is because in 2022 alone, 5.1 million red flag alerts have been sent to local sheriffs from Visa and MasterCard, and that's not including American Express or Discover or the smaller banks, that is just Visa and MasterCard. 5.1, so if you're using your credit card to buy guns and ammo, and unless, you know, unless it's something like I bought a gun this year, but if you bought a couple guns this year or you bought lots of ammo this year, I can promise you there is a red flag alert from your credit card company with your local sheriff. Uh, 5.1 million, mm, that's a big one. Now, here's the problem with that. Um, I'm in uh, uh, Jackson County, Missouri. So I'm kind of in the Kansas City County. So our local sheriff is a city sheriff. Um, I don't really know anything about him, to be quite honest. Um, I couldn't tell you his political affiliation or anything. I don't even know his name, to be quite honest, just being honest. So I don't know what that looks like, but once you get into the outskirts, into the country in Missouri, I, I can almost guarantee that the sheriff is 
throwing, filing that in the garbage, most likely, but not all of them, not all of them. And then you get into places like California, New Jersey, Illinois, New York, you get to places where you got, no pun intended, trigger happy sheriffs who could, can't wait to exercise their power and authority over you and submit you and take your guns. They can't wait to do that. I can promise you there are thousands and thousands and thousands of sheriffs all over this country. They get a red flag alert and they live in a red flag law county or a city or whatever it is, state. Uh, they're coming for your guns. They're coming for your guns. That's what they're going to do. And the red flag laws, I, I've said this before, they are by far, by far the most dangerous thing to the Second Amendment simply because all they have to do is think of you as dangerous and they can take your guns. No due process, um, no day in court. You know, eventually you'll have your day in court, but it's take the guns first, like our presidents have said in the past. Take the gun. I like take the guns first and then you go to court. Uh, that's always what the government wants. Uh, it's the biggest threat to the Second Amendment. Well, why? Well, think about it for a second. Nazi Germany was very, very gun friendly, but there was a moment in time where they decided that the Jews were just a little too dangerous. So if you were a Jew, you lost your gun rights and they took your guns. And that's how it all began. Here in the US, the Indians are dangerous. We gotta take their guns. You know, what if there's a day where Christians are deemed dangerous? We gotta take their guns. This is the problem with red flag laws is it usually leads to a tyrannical, murderous government. Uh, usually is what it, you know, they take your guns, then they take your life and they take your freedom. Uh, this is how it all plays out. And it's, it, and you have the private sector feeding it. So don't allow them to feed this system. Go to the ATM, get some cash. It's just as good as money. Take it in, buy your ammo with cash, buy your guns with cash, stop using credit cards. And to be honest with all the credit card fees, most people give discounts when you don't use credit cards. Uh, so I just, if you're using your credit card to buy guns and ammo, you are being tracked. If you bought multiple guns in a short period of time, you probably have a red flag alert sitting on your local sheriff's desk. If you bought thousands and thousands of rounds of ammo, you probably have a red flag alert sitting on your local sheriff's desk. The question is, what's he going to do with it? So there you go, man. Don't use your credit card to buy ammo. It's just that simple. Any thoughts or insight on any of this, definitely put it below. Do want to take a moment and say most people watch this channel, not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.